Hey guys, Blink here, and today I'm going to show you how you can make some sweet looking intros for your YouTube channel with this quick and easy guide. Now we're going to use a program called Blender. This program is basically a 3D creator. It's used for animation, motion tracking, video editing, and game creation. Now we are going to work on the video editing part. Now the website that we are going to use to make a sweet looking intro is called EditorsDepot.com. This website has many many intro templates you can download and edit. Well let's get started guys. Alright guys, so first you're going to want to download Blender, that way we can open and edit the intros. So first visit blender.org and click the download button at the top. Then scroll down and choose one of the mirrors on the installer.msi, depending on where you live. Download the software. Once it has been downloaded, go through the installation process and basically just hit next until it's finished. Alright, perfect. So now we got Blender, let's move on to finding an awesome template. Next we want to visit EditorsDepot.com and click on the word Blender at the top. You'll see a variety of intros that you can choose from. Now to preview an intro, simply click on an intro and hit the play button. Your preview will start playing. If you like the look of it, hit the red download button on the right and click slow download at the bottom. Wait the 60 seconds and you should be able to see a blue download button. Click it and your download will start. Alright, so let's double click on the template file to open up Blender. Now let's choose a spot on the timeline to where you can see the name pretty well. If you cannot see your timeline at the bottom, then make sure your screen view is set to default. Once you have your name in a position where you can see it, right click it which will show an orange outline. Then hit tab on your keyboard and backspace until you cannot see the word again. Type your word in and you'll notice another word that says name in the background. This is normal, do not remove it. We have to change the name in the back too. Click tab once and your word you change should highlight. Then right click on the back name and it will highlight. Next just click tab and backspace it and insert the same word. Now you might have more than two names you have to change. If that's the case just follow the same steps. Now this part's pretty important as it will make your intro come to life. First we are going to click on the little camera icon on the top right. This will display all the render settings for your intro. Make sure your resolution is 1920 by 1080 Then make sure your frame rate is set to 30fps. Next we will expand the output tab and the first thing you will click is the folder. Choose a place you want your video to be rendered out to and create a name for it. Then hit accept. We then want to make sure that H.264 is set under the name. Next we will expand the encoding tab and just make sure the format is AVI, the codec is H.264 and the audio codec is MP3. When you're done everything, go back to the top and click the animation button. Your intro will start to render and it can take a couple hours to finish depending on your computer specs. Well guys, that's basically it. Just drag and drop the intro into your editing software and you're done. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you would like me to make more videos similar to these. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.